Pop Podcast. Thank you for being with us today. Got a short show. Uh, this is episode 82. Uh, we're going to get go in, get in and out. But, That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to invite some folks on the Facebook real quick, and then we're going to get it. We're going to get it chopping. It ain't going to be too long. Um, you, uh, yeah, I can get it started. Yeah, you uh, want to do the birthday shout out? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, so, like you said, this is episode eighty-two. So we uh, we getting closer and closer to that hundred mark. The hundred. You know what I mean? So uh, you know, I'm excited for that. That's dope. You know what I mean? The hundred episode, you gonna see me in a, a leopard thong, and I'm gonna be <laughs> clapping the butt cheeks. Yo, that's funny. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna have some, we gonna have some sound effects too. <laughs> yeah, we gonna have sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so um, episode eighty two, I'm gonna start off by giving a couple of birthday shout outs. So the uh, the legend, <laughs> the gangstar legend himself, Guru, uh, his birthday was July seventeenth, so let's clap it up for my man. Yeah. So happy birthday to the legend. You know, Gangstar's legacy will will live forever, oh. man. That that ain't going nowhere. Cause I mean, even though at the end he was dealing with that solar dude, you know what I mean, um, Guru, you know, that legacy is solidified. You know what I mean? So it ain't going nowhere. They got they got a huge catalog of music that that, you know, just it can keep hip hop alive forever, man. I, anytime I just want to hear that boom bap. That's what I go for, that gang song. That's just, I mean, Primo, I mean, you just can't go wrong, man. I mean, they had some of the dopest beats in hip-hop, period. So, the but the next birthday shout-out goes to my man, the living legend himself, Cool G Rap. Let's clap it up for him. Yeah. Cool G. Yeah, man. You hear that classic beat he was playing? That's that classic G rap right there. Damn. Champagne wishes and caviar yeah. dreams, yo, that's dope. What was you about to say? Yeah, and actually that was also the, you know one of Nas's like little first collab, wasn't it? Yeah. Outside A Z. Yeah, yeah, that was a, a huge collaboration for Nas early on, um, and that's one of my favorites to this day, man. Him and G-Rap just killed it. I mean, just two of the best lyricists in the game. Hey, you got an age-old, I know this is an age-old question. Fast Life Brook, or Brooklyn Finals? I don't know, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta go with Fast Life. Nas and G-Rap, their style just just is the overkill. You know what I mean? They just over overly dominate the song. Now, um, Brooklyn's Finest with Biggie and Jay-Z was dope, but I don't know, Fast Life to me just is a little bit, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little more top level, you know what I mean? It's like Nas started off as such a, he started off at the top of the game, it's like Jay-Z kind of had to work his way up for me, you know what I mean? He was decent, but the more he went on over the years, it started being like, okay, okay, I'm feeling you now, ho. But Nas, as soon as he came out, it was just like, boom. He just got the streets buzzing. You know what I mean? So, you cannot deny Nas to me. And then G-Rap, I mean, come on. It's G-Rap. Yeah. So, you know, that's rapid fire. That's machine gun right there. You know what I mean? Nas is like the AK-47. And, and G-Rap is just like that, that, that double Uzi action. You know what I mean? So, you can't, you can't beat that. That line, said, my bankroll got the police covered up in plain cold. Yeah, <laughs> my bankroll my got, got the police cops dressed in plain, plain clothes. clothes. <laughs> 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 he said, I got guns in Italy, smoke Ooh, trees considerably, misdate and green as seems as well. My niggas be ghetto misery. Shoot yeah. out some liquor stores, the perpendicular angle of the clout war. I mean, who says shit like that? Jeez. It's like, dude, man, talking about the perpendicular angle of the clout war. It's like, come on, man, dude. That's half man, half amazing. And one, and, and, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, 
You can't deny Nas, and even to this day, he's still the man. You know what I mean? A lot of people still be sleeping on him because you know they still say stuff like he don't have the best beats. But that's you know, I mean, that may be true sometimes. He, he he has good beats, but he he may not always pick what you want. But them them lyrics always on point. Always See, that, on point. That would make uh, to me that would make him you know more of a caliber MC because yeah. you know. A lot of beats, a lot of beats, they got, you know what I'm saying? They got like a lot of, you know, cats that got, you know, good beats, but they bars like trash, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But like, and you know, and Nas, Nas really go up with a cool, you know, a cool G rap. Yeah. It's like a cool thing, man. Yeah, I mean, for them to just be able to do it on the same song, that's that's amazing. And then on top of that, I think with the Cool G rap and and uh, Nas, it it, flo- it flows better. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think if they were, it was more, it was really more of a collaboration as opposed to Biggie and Jay Z. I think they were trying to out rap each other. Right. But that song still go hard on them. Don't get it twisted now. Brooklyn yeah. Fire is go yeah, hard. It, it really does. But yeah, it really does. It's like. Like you said, it was almost like Jay and Biggie was just trying to see who could outdo each other. But Nas and G-Rap, it's like they flow almost like they brothers or something. Like they complement each other. Yeah. It was just like, this is just a match made in heaven. You know what I mean? So, um, I've got to, I'm going to have to start my uh, other video over here real quick. Oh, you good? Yeah. You good? We, while we're doing that, we're going to like folks real quick. Um... Also, let's uh go ahead and while we're doing that, let's go ahead and shout out uh Meek Mills. He's got oh, man. Yeah, let's That's pop amazing. action. <laughs> he got the uh, just released a few hours ago, you know, Meek Mills conviction has been overturned. They have um found, you know, they got enough evidence to show police corruption and that the judge who sentenced him the first time was biased because um, the judge, I found out in the story, they said the judge was trying to make him do a tribute song to her. It was a female judge, and she was basically like, I'll let you off the hook if you do a tribute song to me and and do some such and such. And he was just like, no, I'm not doing that. And he stood, he stood his ground. So, you know what I mean? And now his conviction is overturned. They found that that judge was biased. The police was corrupted and doing stuff to make him guilty. And so now, he's going to get a new trial. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's off the hook. No, nothing will be on his record as far as that goes until the new trial. You know, and they're saying they have enough evidence that the new trial should go very good. He should not have the same problem again. So, yeah, again, yeah, let's pop that up. Yeah, man. Let's pop that up. I'm happy for him, man. That's 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 amazing right there. You know what I mean? So so shout out to Meek Mill. You know, we're happy for you and we hope that, you know, you have much success. I have to say, I'm very um, happy with the new Meek Mill because it's almost like after he got out of prison this last time, it's almost like his whole mindset had changed. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he, he's, he, you can tell he stepped up his lyrical game. You know what I mean? I mean everything. He got swag out the out the roof. You know what I mean? So I really like what I'm hearing. When he first came out back in the day, you know he was just for me he was good, but he was just okay. I was just like, oh okay, that's me, man. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't think he was whack. I just didn't think he was you know like top tier at that yeah, point. Yeah, but I think he's made his way into that lane. He's getting to that point where you know he's gonna be respected among all the actual lyricists and stuff like that, because he stepped his game up. You could tell he was doing something while he was in jail. You know, he was uh, using his time creatively. You know what I mean? So, definitely shout out to Meek Mill. So, um, but yeah, and then uh, we got a few more things we got to talk about. You know, there's a new So So Death documentary we got to talk about. Uh, There's a new new R. Kelly documentary we got to talk about. It's really bad, man. Um, we got to talk about our new segments for Try Hip Hop Podcast because uh, we're doing big things and we want y'all to really get the full experience of what we're trying to deliver yep, yep. as a podcast. So, and it's 
this, this new thing I'm really excited about. It. It's really great. Yeah. Um, first thing when uh, Curtis put me on it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna, this is this is what's up. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited too, man, because you know that's what I love about hip hop, man. The the the, the lyricist, you know, lyricism is my favorite. So uh, we can go ahead and talk about that right now. So the new segment is called the lyrical breakdown, and it's something where you know we take our favorite verses from hip hop, you know, not the whole song, just just like a favorite verse uh, from a song from, you know, some of our favorite artists and, you know, put that out there and, and talk about how, what was so dope about the verse and what was so inspirational and what kind of gets you hype about the verse and, you know, all the different elements that, that you can get from that, you know what I mean? So, I think it's um, definitely... Uh, gonna be uh, big for us and so we're trying to do that every week you know we're gonna bring you some of our favorites I already got a long list of uh, favorites that I'm gonna bring y'all so be on the lookout for that I'm, I'm yeah, really yeah. excited and then, like I said it's gonna be called the lyrical breakdown the first one I put up this past Saturday uh, and I paid tribute to my homegirl Babs Bunny for making a band um, Dominic uh, commented on it. He said he thought when he saw the word Bad Bunny, he he thought it was Tiny Tunes. Uh, like, <laughs> 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 he, he really thought it was the Tiny Tunes. Tiny tunes <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's gonna be huge, man. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's that's something I want to do every week. Probably gonna drop it every weekend, so you know, look out for that. You know, to be dropping probably on Saturdays, like I did this past week, and um, you know, just just to really give props to those lyricists who who really put it down over the years, man. I, I got stuff coming from Method Man, a bunch of dudes from the Wu Tang in general, Iraq him, Nas, G Rap, uh, uh, Black Thought. I got a whole list, trust me, man. This is going to be dope. And some of you, you know, just to showcase some of my favorite verses where basically when I heard them, I was just blown away. You know what I mean? Where you just can't, you can't deny what they're doing. Like, oh! Right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, you just got to grab your hand like, oh, oh son. Yo. But yeah, so... I'm excited for that, man. So, yeah, look out for that. That is a YouTube-only segment. So, if you're not on our YouTube channel, you need to go there. Triad Hip Hop Podcast is on YouTube. So, make sure you like, like share, share, subscribe. Yep. Like, yep. share, yep. subscribe. Yeah, one, more one more time. Like, yep. share, uh -huh. subscribe. Yep, yep. So, yeah. we appreciate y'all for uh, doing that. You know, we're also going to have some segments specifically for you out there in Instagram land. You know, that's what we're going to do our questions of the day so we can get your uh, feedback on what you think about some current events that's going on in hip-hop or, or not even just current events, just hip-hop in general. You know what I mean? Just like you said, you know, like what's your favorite out of those two songs? You know, Biggie and Jay-Z, Brooklyn's Finest, <laughs> or Nas and Coogee Rap, Fast Fight. You know, we're going to pose those questions so that we can get y'all feedback because we know some real hip hop heads out there got a uh, response to that you know what I mean so that was just you oh, there we go Lucky's back and we had to thug him real quick right yeah we gonna tell him that Ja Rule's gonna be working up there on the hand <laughs> on the board and stuff right we gonna and, uh, clap back we gonna clap back if you like chicken if you like coffee <laughs> if you like biscuit if you like turkey uh, uh, Yo.
Instagram, we're going to have questions of the day so we can get y'all input too. Because, uh, you know, Instagram will let you do but so much of a long video. You know, you got a little limitation on Instagram. And then uh, Facebook, you know, we still love y'all too. So, y'all going to get some stuff too. You yep, yep. But, yeah, so, they got um, a new uh, documentary coming out about R. Kelly. So, um, this <coughs> one is going to be made by the same people, Lifetime. And it's called Surviving R. Kelly, The Aftermath. Now, I don't know about y'all. You know what I mean? I, you know, I support, you know, trying to take down people who do, you know, criminal acts and all of that. But I really just need y'all to keep that same energy. Keep that fire! When y'all trying to, when, when we got people like Harvey Weinstein walking yeah. around here, yeah. Matt Lauer and all of them, the new guy that they've been putting under the spotlight, I forget his name. But we got all of these people who have been accused, but y'all keep trying to uh, uh, take down the people of color. You know, you got R. Kelly. I mean, they already put Bill Cosby in jail. You know what I mean? I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying that they're innocent. I'm just saying keep that same energy. Well, as a matter of fact, too, that's another thing. They still got old dudes that they needed to get. Romain, yeah. Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski, yeah. And, uh, he, he got video. Woody so, Allen. Woody Allen. Them mug. He's still married to his daughter. Them mug changed his house a diaper. Right. Talking about, damn, you know what? Right. I knew that ass going to be fast when you turn 18. <laughs> Like, like, <laughs> I, I don't even get how your mind can go from one thing to another. It's yeah. like once you establish, this is my family, you know, my child. When do you get to the point where you're like, oh, uh, you know what? No, I think I like something else about you. I mean, I don't get that. I don't get how you can cross that. Come on, let's sit on that and left. Right. <laughs> I, just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But it's crazy. Yeah, man. I mean, that's, 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 that's absurd to me. So... We um definitely uh you know like I said I support you know taking down anybody who's done wrong but keep that same energy when it comes to these other dudes too man you know what I mean I want to see what y'all do with them because it, it's really just it it furthers the the thoughts of society that you know it's the black people that you're heavily targeting yeah I mean you might have put a little bit of spotlight on people like Matt Lauer and Weinstein and uh, whoever, you know what I mean, all of them, but when it comes to the ramifications, you know what I mean, when it comes to consequences, the people of color seem to get the heavier consequence, you know what I mean, they they, they come down on them hard, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. whereas these other guys are getting up, don't you do it again. Uh, just a slap on the wrist. That's naughty. A naughty, slap naughty. on the wrist. <laughs> That's hot. Don't touch it. <laughs> hot. <laughs> So, yeah, I just, I can't with y'all, man. So, oh, that's my um, man. Uh, oh, that's my man, Crovis, in the house, man. What's, what's up, shout, man? Let's shout out for him, man. We got, hey, we got to get together and do some shit, man. For yeah, real. Man. They, they got a podcast, too, as okay. well, on Sundays. Dang, I forgot the name of that show. I want to say, but anyway, they do a lot of stuff on, I know they do stuff on Sundays. And okay. he'll, okay. he'll probably share it in this uh in this clip here. Yeah, you're welcome to share the link um, to your podcast, and we will definitely check it out, man. I, I would love to uh, check it yeah, out. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's, that's my family that. right there. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, we need to get y'all I see y'all out there on in Instagram, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, that's Trey Red, boy. Yeah, yeah man. Clap them up real quick. Yeah, R2G2. Yep, oh, yep, yeah, in the place. Yeah, man. Y'all y'all need to know. Go, go check out my man, Reggie Reg from R2G2. That dude got some dope beats, and I mean, he's, he's a producer extraordinaire, and I'm happy to, you know, plug you for that, my man. So y'all need to go check him out. He put a lot of his um, samples on um, Instagram, so you can really hear, you know, what what, what kind of stuff he's working on. So y'all need to check that out, too. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, sometimes you might get a sneak peek, and you might hear somebody actually rapping over that joint. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So check him out, man. And y'all, if y'all remember, we had him on the show, you know what I mean, uh, last year. So uh, that was a dope interview too, man. We appreciate you, Reggie Reg. So mm -hmm. definitely. All right, that's what my man said. My cousin at the Academy on air. That's his. That's okay. his show. Um, okay. It's Sundays at seven. Hey, right, man. Like I said, man, we need a network. 
you know what I'm saying? I know I've said that a lot, but we need to network. You know, maybe we can get down, you know, down that way. We, can, you know, shoot, you know, chop it up and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, get on the show with you. So yeah, definitely we need to do that. Yeah, man. So. But yeah. So uh, what do you think about this whole R. Kelly thing, man? Man, piss. I mean, nah, I just, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't that just piss you, you off? Doesn't that piss you off? I mean, they alone, you don't get pissed off. I know it pisses R. Kelly off. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting for my life. <laughs> Fighting for my fucking life. <laughs> but nah, man, I mean, it's just, like, I'm I'm with you on that, man. Like, y'all just need to keep that same energy. Yeah. The same, the same, ca- who really done probably just as bad, if not worse, than what R. Kelly did. I mean, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... You know, kind of like what Roy Wood Jr. said. Um, of course, this was earlier. I think early in the late, early in the year. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, this, this this probably wouldn't have gone on as long if it was like white women he was doing this to. But then, right. since they were black underage women, yeah. You know, they didn't really care about that too much. Yeah. But at the same time, man, like you know, I do hope. I do. Want him to get his? He got to serve that, you know. He got to serve that time for what he did. Yeah. But it's just like, like you said, though, everyone else that's doing these same things, like of a of a different skin hue, right? Than you, you know right. what I'm saying? Like they gotta, you know, they get that slap on the wrist. But we, yeah, we can talk about that all day, though. Yeah, man, so. that's that's one of them things, you know, because it does kind of piss you off, you know. No pun intended. Um, but, you know, it does piss you off, you know what I mean, so, but we'll, we'll see, I mean, but they're already, they've already announced it, so they already, basically this new R. Kelly documentary, they're going to have, it's called Surviving R. Kelly, The Aftermath, and they're going to have testimony from more people who are supposedly victims, allegedly, of him, so, you know, and my thing is, you know, I'm sure he did everything that they're saying, pretty much, if not most of it. So it's like we don't really need, you know, any further proof. I think we have that, you know what I mean? So, but I think they're just more so like until we can get him in jail, we need to keep trying to put stuff out there. Yeah, keep pressing it. Yeah, because I mean that 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 (laughs) documentary was what sparked the first arrest. So they're really like, you know, if you really think about it, if you go back and, and research it, he didn't really have that much um, scrutiny and, and, and he didn't have that much of the public eye on it um, until that documentary came out. Once they announced that documentary and everybody saw it, all of a sudden the police was like, yeah, we got to, we got to bring this dude down. Yeah, before then, he put up that, what, 20-minute long right. R&B zone? Right. Oh, cop at that. Dude. Right, exactly. People still buying it. Mm. And, and, you know, he, he it's like, it's funny because he even admitted in the song, you know, that he had done some stuff wrong, you know. I think he even specified dating younger girls or something like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but then when they asked him directly, okay, did you do this stuff? Oh, no, I didn't do anything. So what were you talking about in the song? <laughs> so anyway, um, so yeah, and then uh, let's talk about um, Blueface. Blueface! If y'all don't know, you know, Blueface is one of those new artists, uh, new rappers out there, you know what I mean? And so, <laughs> he's known, you know, for the Tatiana song, the Bust Down Tatiana, you know, he got some buzz for that. I mean, but now, he's claiming to be a true lyricist, and not only a true lyricist, but the best lyricist. When they asked him who he thought was the best lyricist, he said himself. Mm-mm, I don't get it. Now, um, I, I can't really, can't really agree with that. But um, I'll play y'all, I'll play y'all the freshman freestyle that he was on. Um, let me see if I can find it. Pause this real quick. Yeah, cause uh, I played it for Howie. Basically, um, they just released the double XL freshman freestyle, and. And he got a part on there, so I'm going to play that for y'all. So y'all can hear for yourselves what kind of, you know, quote-unquote lyricism um, that he, he does, you know. So I'm going to try to fast-forward it to his... No, wait a minute, that's not it. That's Dr. Young. Let's go back to him. 
my bad, y'all. I should have had it queued up because I thought oh. about it. And I meant to have it queued up so y'all could hear it. But, um, you know, it, it's to me, his lyrics are very basic. And, you know, I, you know, I just, I'm really not impressed. You know what I mean? I will say that. Double XL just went stupid. If he tripping, then he falling. Stupid. Drop top Martin, no Lawrence. My shit ruthless. I need a Kim Possible to play with my Rufus. Famous crib. If I pulled up, then she blew it. Hate to be my ex, bitch, cause she salty like some Lucas. No time for nonsense. I need a deposit. I wanted to be rich instead of regular, so I left college. I get paid the most just to do the least. I get paid to preach the word like a priest. It's easy. Famous crib. Niggas could never be me. You 40 still working. I spent 40 on this Broly. Ooh. Sauce dripping when I'm dressing. Yeah. Buzzer beater VVS's. Ain't text her back, but she still got the message. Ooh. What y'all think? You know, I mean, I don't get it, man. But that's, he, he, he's, they asked him about some of the older lyricists um, on The Breakfast Club. And he was basically like, well, you know, I'm not trying to compare myself to them, but I'm saying that I'm the best lyricist of my generation. And I still don't get that. I'm not getting that. I'm not feeling that. When I listen to Tatiana and when I listen to this, this was specifically supposed to be your lyricism. You know what I mean? This wasn't a song. You know, this was your chance to put your lyrics out there. And I'm, I'm not hearing it. I don't know. What do you think? To be, like I said, when I listen to him and stuff, he sounded like a watered down version of T Grizzly. Yeah. That's what he sounded like to me. Yeah. Um, if y'all are not familiar with T Grizzly, T Grizzly is like, um, he's like a newer cat out of the Detroit area. And like, my man, T, T Grizzly is a monster. Mm. Like, he got that new style, but if you listen to the way he putting his words together, yeah, like, he, he putting them together. He got bars. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you know, to me, he sounded like he watered down. Yeah. And I think he took, um, to me, it sounded like he took T. Grizzly's he style. He did. I mean, and and I'm, not, I'm not very familiar with T. Grizzly. Because he, got the, he yeah. got the same, he got the same voice, like the same vocal rank, like oh, the, the yeah. enunciation and the, and the intonation of his right. voice. It's like, the, it's kind of like similar to his. I'm not saying like his lyrics are the same to his, it's just like his voice is. Yeah, and you can you can kind of you can you can hear it, and like in the pre in the in the freestyle and stuff. Yeah, so, but yeah, I, hey, I don't I don't I don't I won't say like you trash trash. Yeah, but he alright. Yeah, so you know I mean I don't know man I'm I'm not impressed. But I you know I come from that that school of thought about lyricism and and just really being you know, witty with your bars and, you know, really trying to let people know, you know, what you're here for. And when I hear people like him, I hear, yo, Zucky, you need to stop playing, man. Yeah, man. Keep playing with us, man. We're going to come find you. You're going to be glad I can't break this. Right. <laughs> break like a so, but, um, so yeah, man, that, that's, you know, that's, very interesting to me that he claims to be the best lyricist of this generation. Um, it's I like I want to call if I had their numbers. It's like J Cole, Kendrick, y'all, your guy's still alive, right? Right. Cause this nigga just said this nigga just said that he's the best lyricist. Oh, y'all, y'all alive? Oh, thank you, right. thank you. <laughs> you know what's funny? He, they mentioned them too. They 
mentioned Cole and Kendrick, or at least one of them, I can't remember, but they asked him, you know, what about them? And he was basically like, well, count people who have been in the game for like the last two years. And I'm like, you just making up excuses now. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, You're going to keep trying to close that bracket. Yeah. So then if they bring up somebody from the last two years, well, I mean, somebody who got braids like me, you know, yeah. for the last two years. Oh, you know okay, I mean? here's somebody with braids. Oh, well, I mean, somebody with the same nose as me, you know, I, I'm yeah. better than them. You know what I mean? Yo, the last nigga that came out the last six months. Right. <laughs> <laughs> better than all. Just a quick reminder, you know what I mean? Uh, we got new segments that we're trying to bring y'all. So don't forget, check out the YouTube segment, The Lyrical Breakdown. We're going to bring that to y'all every week. Um, and it's going to be only on YouTube. And it's going to be where we break down some of our favorite verses uh, ever in hip-hop. You know what I mean? No matter what year it came from. Um, could be today. Could be 10 years ago. But we're going to break them verses down. Just during segments. Instagram, we're going to have questions of the day. For y'all, so we appreciate y'all. We need y'all feedback so y'all can uh, interact with us. You know what I mean? We really want some interaction yep, on yep. Uh, Instagram. So um, we already put the first clip for the lyrical breakdown on YouTube, so go check that out. I want some feedback on that. Find that on our YouTube page for Try It Hip Hop Podcast. Definitely, you'll see all the podcast episodes and plus a few more things that you won't find anything anywhere else. So. Definitely check that out. Um, that's pretty much all of our topics for the day, other than this uh, documentary for um, So So Death. So we want to talk about that real quick. Um, if y'all don't know, So So Death is uh, a major label that came up from the 90s, um, started by Jermaine Dupri, and he was uh, known for you know having a lot of young acts, you know, getting them while they're young and um, helping them get in the game, like Criss Cross. Um, I think the brat was only like maybe 16 or 17 when she got in with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, a lot, of the Bow Wow, you know what I mean? So, he he's always been good at molding those young kids and helping them to, you know, really get in the game and have good careers. So, and uh, he, he's brought us a lot of talent over the years, you know what I mean? So, it's um, a documentary about the um, group, I mean, excuse me, about the label. It's called So So Death. I uh, know it's called Power, Influence, and Hip Hop, The Rise of So So Death. And what channel is going to be on? Uh, they they haven't said yet. They okay. haven't really said yet. They just said that. The, I think the documentary is finished, and they just kind of did a pre-screening of it. But I haven't heard where it's actually going to air at. You know what I mean? So I'm assuming it'll probably be like Hulu or, or Netflix or... or Something like that, you know what I mean? So, to me, that would be the best choice, one of those two. I don't think, I don't think you want to put something like that on Lifetime or, or, or you know. Nah, nah, nah. So, nah. you know. But nah, he especially after the way they did that, the Leah movie. Right. Great. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, right>. Yeah. <laughs> the Leah movies, remember they did the Tony Braxton movie. Uh, they've done a lot. Um, but, yeah, so, um. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I, if I can find a trailer for it, I'll definitely post it. And um, I think there was some, let me see, was there some new music I wanted to tell you about? Oh, Real awesome. quick, I just want to say this too. Um, shout out to my uh, my cousin, uh, Poppy State Jr. Just want to shout him out. He's got a thing, uh, he's trying to get the local acts up here in Statesville uh, called the Rock and Mike venue. Um, we're going to want to try to get him on the show, one, you know, so we can have like a little interview or whatnot, and um, actually kind of talk about, you know, how he put all this stuff together and everything. Um, just, just to throw that out there, he's a, man, I put, I my cousin in Statesville. Okay, and, um, okay. You know, we're going to try to get that, get that together. So, come shouting you out, man, just, you know, we're trying to build this, so, you know what I'm saying? Just, just help us real quick. Yeah, man. Saying, we it. appreciate all of y'all yeah. who share our stuff and who encourage people to check us out. You know, so share. Do whatever you can to share. And give us some feedback. You know, if there's some things that you know of that you want us to try to tackle, bring it to our attention. We love feedback. Um, yep. Anything y'all think of that can make the show better, let us know. 
We appreciate y'all. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, I didn't really have any new music. Like I thought, you know what I mean? Oh, come back. Damn. Just, um, <laughs> Damn. Sound effects. <laughs> we got to get them sound effects right. But, um, but yeah, don't forget, be on the lookout for that new Ghostface album. That's coming out soon. The new Inspector Deck album is coming soon. They both yep. got new videos. Ghostface did just put out another video as part two to the other one that I told y'all about. The, the song called Conditioning. So he put out another song. The video is kind of a part two where yep. he picks up on that. So be on the lookout for that. He got that on Instagram. So find your favorite rappers out there. They, they promote their music out there. So, But anyway, man, so I think that's it. You got anything else you want to go out there? that's it, man. We, we, we signing off. So for Trying Hip Hop Podcast, episode 82, this is your man, Kurt, and... I'm Howie. And we're going to see y'all on the next go-round. Peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs>